Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. Um, curl up with a nice cup of tea and let's um, just have a chill one. So this is just some bits from my weekend, really. Um, I went shopping, it's Saturday today, and yeah, I thought I'd pop out to the shops. I needed a couple of things from M&S and then I haven't been to Home Bargain since lockdown in March. So I thought I would pop in there and I've got a few bits I want to show you. So yeah, if you like the video, please tick like, comment, subscribe, you know what to do. So first of all, um, if you've already watched my mug collection video, you know I love a good mug. I'll link it for you. If you haven't, you really should watch it. And I saw this on a few Instagrams lately. So um, basically I kind of went to Home Bargains with this in mind and I was so excited that they had it. So it's a mug. Um, it says, be kind, a little bee. I've actually got a t-shirt as well that's really similar. So I'm already thinking of an Instagram picture, me in the t-shirt and the mug, yeah. So my bug barrier are mugs that don't go in the dishwasher and this doesn't, but it was too cute to not get. And I'll just use it for show. And then my, some of my makeup brushes are pretty gross. So I got powder brush and blush brush, blush brush, that's a tongue twister. Blush brush and powder brush from Olivia Hale. I don't know if anyone's used these before, if they're any good. My current brushes are from Superdrug. So I don't really like spending a lot on brushes, is that bad? Um, so yeah, I thought I'd see what these are like and they look quite soft and, and nice, so we'll give them a go. And I really needed um, some nail buffers, so I got the head to toe nail buffers. And then I really usually use um, like the Nivea lip butters as my lip balm. I think they're being discontinued. I can't really ever see them anywhere. So I saw this lip balm because I know that the brand's quite expensive usually. Like I think it's maybe meant to be like seven quid and it's like two something in Home Bargains, Dr. Paul Paul. So I thought I'd try it. And I just got the sheer butter one. Give it a go, see what it's like. And then how cute is this to match the mug? Notebook, be kind. This was only 99p as well. There they are together. How cute is that? Love them. And then finally in my bedroom, it's kind of shades of pink. Um, and I'm running out of storage for things like makeup and toiletries and stuff. So I've got this pack of three box basket things. They're plastic. I thought that could go like, I've got some like wicker drawers like on top of them to put like my everyday makeup in and things like that. And then some of my drawers, I could put these in. Yeah, just storage really. You can have unfair. Too many storage items really can you so yeah hopefully they'll be nice and i can store all my new purchases in them so that was my little home bargains haul so i didn't go too mad there wasn't like loads of stuff in there i kind of thought that i would maybe get some candles because i do like a candle but there wasn't anything i really liked so i think i was quite restrained actually and um yeah but it's always nice to keep popping back isn't it and it's kind of a weird time, isn't it? It's like mid-season, so they didn't have any sort of like seasonal things like autumnal things or, you know, when they go mad for Christmas. So, yeah. But I'm pleased with the mug. Eee! Can't wait to use it and take a picture of it. Um, so, yeah, let me show you what I got in m &S. It was just a few bits, really. And then I'm going to have lunch with the bits that I bought. Okay, so these are the bits that I got in M&S. Um, I've actually opened them because I was really <laughs> hungry and had lunch before I showed you and then I remembered that I was gonna show you. Um, so um, some strawberries, Greek yogurt, and some berry and orange granola. So I had that for lunch. I have to be honest, that is not my usual lunch, um, but I've been really bad lately. I just seem to always have like a cheese sandwich and packet crisp. So I thought I'd try something healthier and it was really nice. This is very crunchy though. So I was, you know, a bit concerned about my teeth, but um, yeah, it did taste really nice. It'll be interesting if it keeps me full all day. And some garlic bread because tomorrow I'm gonna make um, tomato and basil spaghetti. So I thought that'd be nice to go with it. And then these, I was watching a uh, vlog that Zoe Sugg did um, quite recently. And she mentioned that these are amazing and she just loves them. And I saw them in there and I thought, ooh, I better try them. And that kind of ruined the healthy bit, didn't it really? But <laughs> never mind. Um, I'm looking forward to having one of those with a cup of tea later. And I'll report back to tell you if they're as good as she says. So yeah, so I've had some lunch. 
I'm gonna put everything away that I've bought and then maybe make a cup of tea and have a biscuit and dive back into my book. So this weekend I'm reading Midnight Sun. Possibly will be for quite a while because it's really long. Um, I was a massive fan of the Twilight um, series originally. So yeah, I'm just excited to to try it really. Um, and again, I'll let you know if it's um, if it's any good. Hello, Harry. You wanna join me? So this is Harry, everyone. If you follow me on social media, you will have seen him lots. But this is his first experience on YouTube. Having a dreamy. So he's pretty massive. He's really long and big. Harry. Oh. You're big, aren't you? Yeah. That's it, that's enough. So yeah, he just wanted to say hello on the vlog this weekend. And he's probably getting ready for a sleep soon. There's one behind you that you've missed. Look, <laughs> here you go. Oh, don't really want to show everybody that end, do we? Is that nice? I hope everybody else talks, talks to their cat in a cat voice. Because I do it all the time. I don't know why. Harry, I have a special voice for you, don't I? <laughs> give me more dreamies. Stop filming me. Just give me more treats. afternoon tea break got my cup of tea in my cat mug new biscuits to try book ready to go in my reader neck and I put the fairy lights on because it's raining so any excuse really oh is there anything better than a cup of tea and a chocolate biscuit because I don't think there is so in case you're dying to know I've tried the MS chocolate biscuits and I can confirm they are really, really good. Mm. I can't talk now. That was a mistake. Mm. Oh my God, seriously. They are actually really good. So thank you, Zoe Sarg, for recommending them. I mean, I say thank you, but now I feel like I might be eating them all the time. Oops. Definitely recommend, guys. Oh. I'm going to put my feet up with my book and enjoy. So we're getting towards the end of the day now. Um, I've just had dinner, which was a tray bake, chicken, veg and rice. Really nice. It's a Jamie Oliver one. I think it's called Hit and Run. So if you want to look it up, because I really recommend it. it's really easy and it's really tasty. So um, I'm in my bedroom now. Do you like my wall of pictures? Um, and I'm going to get changed into my PJs and then curl up ready for a Saturday night um, of watching something I think I'm going to go with Father Brown I'm in the middle of the box set of that I love a good cozy crime and it's just a nice chill out Saturday night kind of watching um and yeah put my pjs on and light candle and curl up really so yeah I really hope you enjoyed the vlog and if you did please subscribe I would love to see you guys here um all the time and hang out with me and please do like and comment because I love to hear from you guys and if you want to join me on Instagram as well I'm at Vicky J Walters so yeah I hope you all had a good weekend and I'll see you next time bye